In our first example, we'll set up two switches. Scan to next item and select item. This is the minimum configuration to manually scan. We'll show you how to auto scan in the next video. Any keystroke can be used to carry out functions in switch control, but don't use tilde 1 or tilde 3 as switch control takes the first character it sees, which is tilde in both instances. Also, you can't use media controls such as play or track skip, even though these are provided in applicator. In our example, we'll use right arrow, which is function C in applicator, as move to next item, because we think that's quite intuitive. We'll also use enter, that's function 6 in applicator, as select item. In this setup I have here, the applicator is already paired to the iPad over Bluetooth. Channel 1, that's the red switch, is already set to function C, which is right arrow, which we're going to use to move to the next item. And channel 2 is set to function 6, which is enter. We're going to use that for select item in this example. So now turning to the iPad, I go to Settings, General, Accessibility, and then scroll down the page to Switch Control. The second item, Switches, tells me how many switches have already been configured. At the moment it's showing one, which is the screen tap default, which is how iPad ships. To add these two switches to the functionality of switch control, I need to do them one at a time. First of all, let's tap on switches and we'll add the red switch, which is going to be scan to next item. So I add a new switch. It's an external switch, which in this case means a Bluetooth switch. Now it's acting, asking me to activate your external switch. So I'm going to tap the red switch and it's now asking me for a name for that switch. We think the best thing to do here is to use the name of the switch function itself that's being used, which in this case is right arrow. So I'm going to type here right arrow save. Now what it wants me to do is to tell it what function that is going to carry out in switch control, which in this case is move to next item. Now the red switch is set up and you can see here it says right arrow is move to next item. I'm now going to do more or less the same thing with the yellow switch which we want to be select item. So add a new switch, external, tap that switch, it asks for a name, I'm going to call it enter. And now allocate a function to that switch which is select item and now you'll see enter is set to select item. Now that I've configured all my switches what I'm going to do is go back to the switch control main menu. I'm going to turn off auto scanning and I'm going to turn on switch control. So now switch control is on but with manual scanning. If I now press the home button then I'm back on the home screen and you'll immediately see the highlight appear around the first row. And I can manually scan forward, back up to the top once I get to the bottom, and I can select any item. And if I'm going to use the same example as in the previous video, let's go for calculator. So I'm going to select that row and scan to calculator, open that app, And for example, if I want to enter the number 5, select that row, scan to the number 5, select, and now have a number 5.